Hey, Mike. And been a while. Just wanted to uh, give you my uh, you know monthly update, bi-monthly. <sighs> Things are uh, not necessarily good, but they're uh, <laughs> they're a little different. Little tiny things that have been happening that haven't been usually happening, but it's not uh, not at all surprising. The, uh, Barbara, she got the restraining order, and that's that's not at all surprising. I would say uh, a lot of people said they saw it coming. I personally, I didn't. I, I still don't know why, but I, I can't uh, I can't get within a certain X amount of feet from her. Whatever, you know, it's fine. It's uh, it throws a damper in my day because I'm so used to, uh, you know, just trying to get close to her and uh, talk to her. But you know, it, it's okay because I, uh, I still get glimpses of her when she goes in and out of the house when I park up the street. Uh, it's no big deal. The, uh, the kids, oh, the kids, they, uh, they hate me. As it turns out, uh, I guess uh, Barbara's been telling them all the stuff that. She feels it's true about me, but that, uh, but it's uh, partially true, partially not true. I, I don't. Either way, they won't talk to me. You know, it got to the point. Dude, well, for the restraining order extends to them too, obviously. And it got to a point where I, uh, I was desperate to to look at them, even just talk to them. Hopefully, uh, any type of communication, a contact. I, you know, I, I've for the past you know ten, fourteen days, I've been going up to the their bedroom windows at night, leaving little notes on the window, you know, hoping their mother doesn't find out, and then coming back the next morning and, <laughs> and hoping that they wrote a note back. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, yeah, no notes, <laughs> just nothing. So, family, kaput, gone, uh, and it's, uh, it's a little upsetting, but the, I know, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's, you know, no big deal, just a uh, part of the update. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Well, you know, work, work. What's going on with work? I've get, been getting a couple, couple clown gigs here and there. I had birthday parties and graduation parties, which I always found kind of weird because they're very old. The, the graduates, it was a high school graduation. I, it was not very good. But there was one, there was one uh, little birthday party for a little girl uh, about last month and uh, up in the, you know, up in middle class whatever they uh they thought they'd hire a clown clown right and uh well i got there and it was all great and i used to set up my stuff and I, and, and, and i got kicked out you know 10 15 minutes in i they just said i had the wrong vibe i don't know you know stupid i i, I was just didn't even get to finish my fucking balloon elephant then they booted me uh, you know i i start to think that my, maybe my business cards are a little misleading, you know? Maybe they, you know, they look at them, or, and it just doesn't seem like it's the same guy when I get there. I maybe it's the van. I, well, I, you know, and it's also, it is also some of those goddamn online review forums, you know, like uh, you know, Yellow Pages or Yelp, whatever, you know? Those people whose parties I go to, you know, then they, they get on the, the websites and they post all these things, you know, they review and I can appreciate the, the idea of the website, but I feel like everybody's bashing me and it's, and it's affecting my ability to get contracts for, you know, for work. And, uh, you know, I, <coughs> either way, you know, the clown thing's my passion, right? I, I love the clown. But, uh, you know, work's, uh, work's been a, <coughs> a little bit difficult lately. Uh, and so I, I, I've been working around and I've had a lot of time to myself. <coughs> and, you know, it's, uh, it's a whole different atmosphere around here these days. And uh, part, it's part of the update I wanted to give you. Speed dating. That's right. Okay, so I went through a speed dating thing the other day. A speed dating event. I thought yeah, I would get myself out there. I would talk to people and, you know, whatever. And so I got there, and it was all right. But, uh, 
You know, I got through the first round, didn't seem very interested. And, uh, then they kicked me out in the middle of the second round. And th that's uh, pfft, seven and a half minutes into the goddamn thing. And so I'm thinking, what? Why? Why? And I don't know. Maybe it's just a... I mean, I, I came straight from what I thought would have been a job. I, I thought I was coming from work. They Turns out the birthday party canceled at the last minute. So I was in my clown... <laughs> To my clown makeup, and I guess the clowns, ladies don't like the clowns. Ladies do not like the clowns. Take that from me, buddy. Ladies do not like the clowns. So I'm just uh, here, hanging out, uh, being myself, trying to find people to talk with, and, you know, upset about the divorce and all that, that crap, and the kids, and the yada, yada, and the beer, and the, yeah, it's... It's been rough. I'm not gonna lie. It's been, it's been a rough, uh, it's been a rough couple of months. But that this isn't about me. This is about you. It is your birthday today, and I just wanted to come by and say happy birthday. I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while since we talked. I uh, I planned this uh, little update on your birthday so I can give you a little information about myself and then, you know, wish you a happy birthday. So. You know, that's the thing. So uh, I know it's it's been a while since we've uh, done anything musical. I've It's uh, ever since the divorce has started taking up the cigarettes and the beer. and My throat has been been thrashed, too, so I'll preface it with that. But uh, I just wanted to... I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And, you know, I, I thought maybe I'd just sing the basic song for you, you know. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy to you oh yeah Mike love you buddy happy birthday